be a Daniel, dare to stand alone, dare to have a purpose firm, dare to make it known. Hi, J.A. Kids! My name is Martessa. And my name is Kristen. We are thrilled that you joined us today. For the last few weeks, we have been learning the 12 steps for kids that could keep us from ever having to use alcohol or drugs. Today, we are learning step five. What does it say, Martessa? Step five says, uh, oh, wait, where is it? Oh, I think I wrote it in that notebook over there. Oh, yes, here it is. With the help of a trusted adult, I will talk about my choices. Why would I want to do that? If I tell someone, they might make fun of me. Those are great questions, Kristen. Maybe the best way to answer them is to tell a us- A story? That sounds good to me. Once there was a girl named Sally. Sally's mother had a favorite pen that her father had given her. She never let anyone else use the pen and always kept it tucked carefully away in her desk drawer. One day, Sally was home alone working on her homework and she noticed the pen lying on the table. It was unusual to see it lying out like that. Mother must have been in a hurry when she left the house. Sally went over to the table and picked it up. The pen was cold and smooth in her hand. She wanted to see what was so nice about the pen, and so she started writing her math homework with it. She didn't feel right about using her mother's pen, but she pushed the thought out of her mind. The writing was so smooth and flowy. Pretty soon she had written an entire page with it. Suddenly she heard a loud thump. Sally jumped up and hurriedly put the pen back on the table. She bent her head over her paper, trying to calm her racing heart. A moment later, the cat slunk past. Phew! When Sally's mother came home, she went straight over and picked up the pen. Sitting down at the table, she started to write with it, but it didn't work. She tried using different paper and cleaning the tip of the pen, but nothing worked. The pen would not write. Finally, mother had to put the pen away and use another one that didn't work quite so well. Mother was very upset about it. But Sally said nothing because she knew she would get in trouble if her mother found out. Even though Sally didn't get in trouble for using the pen, she still felt bad. Every time she picked up a pen to do her math homework, she thought about her mother's pen, and it made her sad and discouraged. That year, she barely passed her math class. A year passed. Sally moved up a grade and got a new teacher. This teacher was kind, and all the students loved her. One day, Sally was feeling especially sad, and the teacher came over and asked, Is there anything wrong, Sally dear? Sally looked around the room. All the other kids were busy with their projects, so she blurted out the entire story. The teacher listened patiently. When Sally finished, she felt very much relieved. It was as if a great weight had slid off her shoulders and melted away. <sighs> and I feel so awful now, teacher, and I don't know what to do about it. The teacher said, I am glad you told me this, Sally. You did the best thing you could to start feeling better. What's that? Sally asked. And can you guess what that was, kids? Does it have to do with step five? It sure does. Remember that step five says, I will talk about my choices with a trusted adult. Oh, I see. Sally talked with her teacher about the choice she made to use her mother's pen without asking. You're right. And after Sally told her teacher all these things, she felt so much better. She didn't have to hide her secret anymore, and it helped her feel happy and free. Yes, so much better that she was able to pass math at the top of her class. But not just any adult will do. It is important to find a good adult to listen. What people could be good listeners? Well, Sally talked with her teacher. You could also talk with a counselor, a grandparent, or a pastor. Those are great ideas. They should be adults that you trust and who love you. Remember that step five says, with the help of a trusted adult, I will talk about my choices. Let's say it together. With the help of a trusted adult, I will talk about my choices. This is the last week that you can hear Martessa and I on the radio. That's right. But even though you won't hear us on the radio next week, you can still hear us online. Yep. If you want to learn more of the 12 Steps for Kids and hear some great stories, visit Diné Adventist Radio. That's www.diveadventistradio.com. We hope to see you there. Now repeat after me. Be bold. Be bold. Be brave. Be brave. Be different. Be different. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Goodbye for now. Dare 
to be a Daniel, dare to stand alone, dare to have a purpose firm, dare to make it known.